Last question. Mm -hmm. uh, so the two main players in Afghanistan, any solution are the United States and Pakistan. Uh, the heads of the two governments have not spoken yet. I want to know the state of relations between your government and President Joe Biden's government on Afghanistan. And moving forward, do you think that Pakistan is going to be scapegoated? And what is Pakistan's strategy when it says we have other options? Uh, the NSA has also said. Let, let, me, let me say three things. Number one, uh, Pakistan has already been being made a scapegoat by uh, our Afghan government, and the Afghan government is doing so because. It is taking, um, it is blaming Pakistan for all the misgovernments and the, the, the kleptocratic government that Afghanistan has been. I mean, clearly, 70,000 uh, of uh, Taliban should not be sort of dominating a 300,000 well equipped with air cover Afghan unless the population is, uh, is uh, helping the Taliban. It cannot happen otherwise. So rather than looking at the reasons why they have not been able to provide the governance that was required for winning over the population, and secondly, uh, the whole hasty way that the Americans have suddenly left, the Americans, if, if you wanted a political settlement, common sense is that you do the political settlement from a position of strength. So when you have 150,000 NATO troops there, that was the time to do a political settlement. People like me were all the time saying that, you know, there were, there's no military solutions to do a political settlement. We were all, I was called anti-American. I was called Taliban Khan because of that. And people like us were sort of sidelined for even saying, talking about a political settlement. So having not done a polit put political settlement from a position of strength, now, Blaming Pakistan when you have, uh, when, when there, there's no leverage left, when the Taliban think they're winning, uh, uh, for the Afghan government, all the mind, mind you, first time I'm seeing that the Afghan government are not blaming the Americans the way they exited. So they too are not blaming the Americans. So finally, um, uh, and the other thing about, you know, I keep uh, having the President Biden hasn't called me. Well, it's his option if he wants to call or not. It is business if he thinks it's necessary or not. I mean, uh, not that I am waiting for any phone call. You know, it's his prerogative. There's a friend.